Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Daryl with Yellow on Cowboy. And uh, before, right, one of my recent videos, I was hauling this tractor down to the pile down there and uh, kept falling off the deck because it was so slick, it was like ice. So I got a lot of suggestions from subscribers. And what I came up with to use was uh, the Velcro strips. And what I used was the, uh, if I can get in here. What I used was the, uh, the fuzzy side of the Velcro. Let's see if I can get it focused. I don't know if you can tell. You're not gonna be able to tell on here, but this is the fuzzy side of the Velcro right here. Uh, and I've been driving around out here, kind of hitting some ruts and bumps. <clears throat> and so far, it uh, is staying on there. The dozer hasn't slid off yet. And I've been doing, doing circles and I've been hitting some of these uh, tire ruts out here just you know trying to see if it'll hang on there and it's hanging on there um, so I just wanted to kind of show you what I ended up using uh, so that maybe you can if you ever had this issue you could you know kind of watch this video and go hey let's try that you know so anyway this is just this little short video uh, it's nice and sunny out here today. Um, just kind of one. I've been just driving around, like I said, testing out this uh, Velcro strips. Really easy to. They're sticky back, so they, you know, and they're and they're nice and straight, so they actually kind of look good. I'm trying to film and drive. That Zetro's truck has got a lot of power. It really pulls well. I just barely got my finger on the throttle here. Just creeping. It'll even go slower. It'll go like this. It'll really go down. It's doing pretty good. I, I don't know. I guess it's going to work. Because I think I'm going to put it on my new trailer now. I just wanted to kind of do a test with this trailer. Before I, you know, stick it on that new trailer. On that uh, big, that big expandable one. I just got the other day. Just driving up through some grass. Got a little. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm got a camera in one hand, transmitter in the other. I gotta get a different camera. I can't see nothing through this thing. When the sun's too bright, boy, you just really tough to see. Anyway, you can see that the dozer's kind of rocking back and forth there, but it's staying on there. That's what I wanted to do is hit some bumps and you know, do a little testing. This ground out here is not graded, it's just natural ground. Like right there, some tire ruts. From my pickup. That dozer's hanging right in there.
And that's on a side hill right there. Hang it in there. I think it's a keeper. That uh, Velcro tape, very inexpensive. I got, I ordered a 10 foot roll, four inches wide, it was like 17 bucks or something. Very inexpensive. That's a pretty good rut I just went through. No issue. <coughs> Again, I'm not doing anything other than testing the trailer bed. down here in the shade of my truck so I can see. Some tall grass. Spinning out a little bit. Pulled a wheelie right there. The truck is not lacking any power, let me tell you. It has a lot of torque. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up on this little short video. Uh, I think I'll put that uh, uh, Velcro pad. And the side I'm using is not the hook part, but the loop part. It's the softer part of the, of the strips of the hook and loop. You know, they call it hook and loop or Velcro. Uh, it's the loop part which is be, like I said, the, the softer, fuzzier stuff. Um, the, uh, the hook part, I, I wasn't sure about that, because it's, it's, it's kind of a, a nylon, shiny, pretty kind of hard kind of feeling stuff. And I wanted it to kind of be softer so it would dig in. So, that, so I went with the soft side of a hook and loop. And uh, seems to work okay. So anyway, uh, just wanted to catch everybody up on how the trailer was going. And I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm going to put this on the, now that I've done a couple circles here in the last 10-15 minutes, I'm going to put it on my other trailer. Uh, my big, my big trailer that I just got here. I just did a video on that, an unboxing. And, uh, and put that on there and uh because that thing is a solid aluminum top deck on that thing and it is really slick so anyway you guys all take care have got fun with rc and get out there and run some rcs do some digging four by four and flying whatever boating you guys have a good time and we will catch you on the next video until then talk to you later bye